Hello everyone, welcome back to part six of the Beast Inside. It looks As like you someone recall the in the last episode, do I need, though? we were dealing with that, and I think I figured it out. So what we got is a bunch of numbers on pages and corresponding lock locations. And if you remember in the last episode, one of the pages is ripped. So How do I open it. We Maybe I can find something are this after a little bit of time. Come on. What? No, we know this. Give me there's the cursor. So there's a couple Numbers choices. Numbers from the notebook. Which Could one be stand seven. Out? Basically, you're looking for the one that's not included on the page. Seven, five. And now this one, because the page is missing, it's either a seven or a three. So we're going to go and go with seven first. No. This one is one. Oh, God. Did I write it down wrong? Seven, five. One. And this is either three or seven. Try this. No? No, we're gonna go with seven. How do we how do we check it? Yeah. That's it. What? What did I mess up? Oh lord. Okay. Bear with me. Okay, well, that was unexpected. I guess because I didn't flip through the book because I actually ended the game and then jumped back in today. It's from a different shirt. But anyway, we're in now. We got a letter. I got a smudge on my glasses as we're getting that letter. The judge tried to strangle me, and he would have succeeded if it wasn't for. Alright, we're going back to the past. Christ, I can't do it on my own. There's so much blood. Dear God, is this one of the guests? I don't know. Go get someone. He'll bleed to death. Press on the wound. I'll get help. The janitor is upstairs. Room 207. Where are you? Who is this? Easy. Don't try to get up. Good Lord. No one will ever talk me into a mountain trip again. There he is. Looks like that missing fellow. The detective showed guests his dagger type. Detective! What is going on? In that nosy fop, Walter Gilman? Holy mother of God! I have to telegraph the sheriff. No, this man needs a doctor. Uh, I've seen wounds like this. It's only a matter of minutes. I'm sorry, son. What? These voices. There are so many of them. What ha- Wait. what? I, I think I've heard this conversation before. They said that a certain detective, Walter Gilman, worked for the judge. If he was interested in missing people from the area, he might know something about my father's disappearance as well. Maybe at the reception desk I can find out his room number. Okay. Ooh, that is creepy. We're gonna put that in there, where it belongs. Oh. I found some stuff. So... I'm not sure why they were silhouetted, but now they have disappeared completely, so we're not going to worry about it, right? Now that's how horror games work. Out of sight, out of mind. Okay. It's him. Ah, Judge yes. John Norton, father's former associate. Is yep. that possible? Yes. I've just witnessed a crime from a decade ago. I'm getting lost. Memory was the janitor who usually kept the reception keys. Room, a missing judge. 207. Someone has been looking for him. Walter Gilman. What? So I just get stuck in like a weird conversation. Whoa! You need to calm down with that, sir. We do not tolerate that in our hotel. This is a family establishment. You will not yeet the furniture. Thou dost not yeeteth. Thy furn man, who is stacking all these? Hey, it's the guy we're looking for, ain't it? Not alone. Well, no. Oh, yes, a uh, map. So we are looking for 207. There's some stairs around this corner. But, for the sake of exploration, this room is open. Oh, we are a moth. We are moth man. Alright, what do we got here? Nothing. Nothing. Matches. Locked. Locked. My guy is just a hoarder of matches and kerosene. 
So if the general store stop that right now. In front of our Lord and Savior, even pulling that stuff. We got to find a piece of paper. Read. For nothing is secret, thou shalt not be made manifest, neither anything. What was that? That was not what I wanted to hear. Hello? I would light this candle. I'm gonna light this candle. Can't get me if I'm not in the dark. That's how horror games work. Oh my god, yes. I have a chair. I'm not afraid of it. It's too big. I have Mother Mary. You can't attack me if I'm carrying our the, the patron mother. Patron mother, mother, saint, mother. I'm not Catholic, I'm sorry. More matches. So, if the power goes out during this episode, which may be irrelevant because I'll lose everything because, you know, recording an MP4, MP4 format, it doesn't save. So, Texas right now is getting hit by a storm. It's been like nonstop lightning for the last 30 minutes, and I was debating whether recording or not, but what better time to play a scary game than when it's actually raining outside like it is in the game? So, our friend sent us a text. God, who is this? What is he doing here? A, a text because they got like golf ball sized hail. So we had to pull our cars in the garage, which we're lucky they fit because we got a bunch of plants stuff in there. We are there. 207 is right around the corner, actually. So. Hello? I went the wrong way, but. I'm also just a wee little bit. I keep hearing something. I can't tell if this hotel's been abandoned because some of it's like super dirty and stuff. Oh my god, what? He just went through the eaves. I can't recall ever doing such a thing. Why would I, I disturb the guests? I was well aware that if I did something like that, I would get locked up in the dark for days on end. That guy was Spider-Man. Man, I didn't know we were playing the Marvel Superheroes universe. Am I an agent of S.H.I.E.L.D.? Is that why I had the spectrometer thing? I solved the secret. We are agents of S.H.I.E.L.D. And it was our duty to protect the people. Ah! Yeah, I can do that too. Give me the... Give me those, and I'll be on my way. Hello? Yes? Indubitably? Who is stacking? See, this is why it's like, nice room, fully furnished. Bunch of crap stock step stacked up in the hall. Damn, there's a chain. <laughs> what? He just like slid over. Maybe I could use it to um, cut through the chain. Did I hit the wall that hard? What is going on? Why was there a creepy dude sliding over into the frame of view? Like, I didn't... I wasn't scared. I was just more, sh like... I wouldn't even say startled. It was just more of like, why did he move like that? More of like a, a question, but we are not afraid of anything, so. Oh, any cigars? Nope, no stogies. I bet you there's a. What? No. What was that? Where did it try to drag me? Uh, down to hell, the floor. Maybe? Christ. What have I gotten into? Well, dude, I'm glad we're now finally addressing the fact that we have... Let me take that with me. Have maybe made a mistake. No, I got this. Stay back. 
like play it like phasmophobia and just you know dump that on the ground so if the demon tries to get me it'll get stopped by the cross I don't I got the achievement for lighting candles but at the same time it helps a little bit Dios mio not sure why the creepy lady came through the floor. hello Yes? Housekeeping! I'm just light that candle. There's a rug. Okay, we're gonna... Oh! Yes! Back up through the bloody hole. What the hell is this? Looks like... A slaughter. A slaughter. Good oh my god. god! Something's wrong here. Grab that tool and get out of here. I should cut through the chain in the janitor's room. Oh, wait, 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 wait. Stogie? Nope. Oh, wait, wait, wait. Yeah. Okay. Okay. So we know there's somebody in this room. You know, if. It's so loud. If this was. A... <laughs> Sorry. Actually used to murder somebody, it would be a different kind of teeth. Because bone cutting teeth and metal cutting teeth on a saw are totally different. And I don't think they're interchangeable. Hello? Mr. Jan Etor. Jan Etor. Dr. Jan Etor. Paging Dr. Jan Etor. If y'all remember Scrubs. Poor soul. He spent mm. most of his life here, and after death, he's still. Oh the my God! Janitor. Open. Is this? But now for eternity. Yes. Okay. And the Thank guests. You. And what I can see are sure to cause trouble. Who's talk? Oh. Well, are we not going to address the fact that there was somebody at the door, to uh, quote unquote greet us? Oh. How many matches have we found? We just uh, finish pillaging the place because obviously he's not gonna care too much if I just have a little. Uh... Oh my! Screw you! Don't appreciate that. Read, Mister Mister Jacob keeps telling me to lay off the bottle. He says that I'm seeing things, but I swear that it's all real. I drink because I'm afraid. Something lurks in these forests. I've heard some inhuman screams in the trees, howling in the caves. I've seen claw marks on the bark. Mr. Jacob says, calm down, you drunkard. You'll scare away the guests. What if they should be afraid? How many people have gone to the forest and never come back? My god, I can't hear this. I'm turning it a... <laughs> My god, I can't hear this howling again. Great fox! I won't find any rest tonight if I don't take a swig or two. Eventually, I will be able to keep. Aha! I found keys to room 106. What? Okay, bye! I just lost my complete train of thought because that I don't the lady popping out and you know, popping out of the ground and everything didn't scare me but a chandelier falling and a book a china cabinet falling over got me come on come on oh they go in okay We have the key. Do we not have the key? Uh, set of keys. Yes. Okay, it's, it's apparently permanently locked. We want 106 anyway. Okay. Wait. Oh my god! 
this a ghost? Or did, did I completely lose it? Because I didn't light the candle. I forgot to light the candle. Oh, man. Just had a sneeze again. I don't know where that came from. All right, just real sneezy today. Do not enter. Open. I can read. The fucking weirdo wanted to blow me up. I imagine to do the bastard and lock him up in one of the rooms. My may God watch over if you need to enter B wing. The combination of the padlock is anger. Oh well. Come on, push. <laughs> what? Can I push this one on the way? Well, guys, for the sake of y'all, I'm gonna open up this door. I feel like I'm gonna regret this. Oh, we wanted that one. I'm going in there, but I'm doing this for y'all. Well, it's not so bad. Not sure why the music took such a dark turn. Hello? Sir, you haven't been paying your your uh, bill, so we're gonna have to ask you to vacate the premise. Weird. Okay. Oh, so it's so I'm getting here. Oh lord, that doesn't look good. Is this what happened to the last guy that asked you to pay your bill? So, oh, the fuck. Union uniform was just a disguise. It's all getting more and more mysterious. I didn't read it on accident. This must be what that disturbed janitor was writing about. Oh, Lord. Like he died a long time ago. Yeah. All right, we're going to light the candles. Because if you recall, we get scared every time we don't light the candles. So, yeah, there's some creepy vines. These damn roots again. They seem too tough for me just to break them. I can't deal with it with my bare Whoa, hands. Oh, no, he's I gone. Some kind of sharp tool. What? No. I couldn't just get no, him walk away. No, 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 no. Uh, let me go. Help! He's got a bomb Help! in his hand. I will leave you of your life. Bastard. You can't stop the assassination. Um, come on. Ah! <laughs> Grab the bomb. What? Just eat it out the window. Oh my god. That is. Okay. Okay. Okay, okay. So... <laughs> oh, God. So you know what I said? There's doing something in this game, and then there's this is where the game does it. It just takes it to the next level where it doesn't need to be. Like, dear Lord. I mean, just taking the bomb and yeeting out the window would have been fine, and then you don't have the dude chase me for a while. Let me get away from that way. Well, we're not going in this one. Oh! Hey. Can we not? Please? Hello? Search George's office. Oh, Lord. Oh, wait. Nope. Nope. 
Okay. There we go. Pick block a champion. Let's do a little peek. Okay. Hello? George. George Costanza. I just I just want your smoke. Your uh your 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 uh mad. You were supposed to check every possibility, Norton. You're a judge, and you should know how to bend the law without breaking it. The contract states you can both hand over your shares without each other's consent. I'm sorry, George, but you signed it yourself. I never thought that bastard would try to outwit me, and that his demented spawn would sneak into the mine. What do you expect? The brat cannot inherit. We have to persuade that old fart somehow, or we'll end up with nothing. You have an in. against my father and me. <laughs> well, this kind of sounds like it. Well, let's search George's desk. Aha! 107 and 208. Let's go back to the reception desk and find Gilman in the guest registry. Or we could just continue exploring on our merry way and maybe we'll just get it right. But it is a chat like a a task, so it may force us to do it. Rotate to find the hidden message. Cruel murder. Wednesday, September 13th. September 11th, the sheriff issued an arrest warrant for Jacob Hyde, a mine inn owner. Oh. I smell evil doing. It smells like mischief. And we are going to take this. Blah, blah, blah. Um, okay, I thought we'd go out this way, but I guess... Oh, no. Oh, no. Uh, okay. Later. Bowie! I, I don't know where to go. Oh, I just missed something. Um. Holy crap! What happened? Where'd it go? Which room did the detective stay in? Oh, man. Oh man. The detective was staying in room 203. <clears throat> That's upstairs. Obviously. It looked like he never checked out. <sighs> I'll take the 202. The key for room 203 is missing. But maybe I can get there from room 202. Yeah, why not? That I seems to be the case how much for knew. every other room in here has like a hole in the wall or something. It's a very shitty in if you want your privacy. Okay, the door's gone. That is locked. And it won't let me in there. Okay. <laughs> Sorry about that. Wonder what? Was there something there? Or am I just seeing things? I think there was something there. Hey, open. Open, please. Let me in. There was something in that window. I I'm not playing games with y'all. I ain't afraid of no ghosts. Quickly, I need to hide. Oh. No. Why? <laughs> From 202, I can easily... 
easily get to the next room. I need to know how much he has found out. bad for myself okay we are okay we are okay we are okay we're just gonna leave it there na 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 boo wow This is 203. Right? Light my candle. Gilman! Open the door! We need to talk, just you and me. Gilman! Greetings, Mr. Hyde. Got the pleasantries. I know what you're up to. I don't really know why you're so upset. I really... You aren't the only hack who thought he could sniff out a scoop. But I'm not looking for a scoop. Shoot. I just want to sort this out. There's something unsettling going on in this charming little corner of the world. So many people have gone missing, including your friend, Judge John Norton. I want to find him. Please. That's my sole motivation. You can shove him up your ass! Oh, God. You want to prove Please, I'm no. responsible for his vanishing, because you're just desperately looking for a story that will get you publicity. The word publicity sounds strange, coming from someone specializing in sweeping things under the rug. Two years have passed since the incident in the mine, and many things still remain unclear. People lost their lives. Many others have gone missing since. And you act like it was just a minor incident. It was an accident. <laughs> a tragic accident that cost the lives of my employees and ruined my business. That's all. Oh, I'm afraid that's not all. Ever since then, people have gone missing in the area. Many people, even guests of this establishment. Enough! I want you out of my inn by tomorrow. You hear me? Indubitably. I hope the detective left something here. The plot thickens. Well, the detective locked all his drawers. How about a smoke? Nope. Anything in here? No nudie mags. Hmm. Well, he's got a letter. Here's sir, right after the accident in the mine. The detective went to the mine that day. Nobody knows if he ever came back. I must retrace his steps. There okay. may still be traces of what happened back then. Ten years I ago? I vaguely remember the accident, but... Gunpowder barrels? Missing people? What's happened here? My father was a cruel man, I can't deny that. But would he be capable of killing in cold blood? Maybe. I guess I'll have to go down into the mine. Great. Guess we're going to the mines. That's just great. Cool. I guess we're going to the mine. All right. All right, and that's where we're going to wrap up this episode of The Beast Inside. If you like what you saw and like this game in general, consider giving me a thumbs up, subscribing to the channel. It really helps me out. Anyway, I will see y'all in the next one.